Our guest today is Jenny Blake, a blogger and author of an upcoming book called Life After College, The Complete Guide to a Perfect Life. Jenny, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks, Kofi. Thanks for having me. And in addition, I understand you also work at Google and career development and coaching. I do. Besides being a big fan of yoga, triathlons, <laughs> coffee and deserts. Quite a, quite a mix there. You have a book deal. Congratulations. Yeah, thank so you. tell me about it. I describe it as Twitter meets what color is your parachute, but for every area of someone's life. Yeah. So the idea is that it's snippets of quotes, exercises, and advice. My hope, and when yeah. I wrote it, is that the tips and exercises, and there's quotes from famous people sure. and recommended books, could help anyone at yeah. any stage, but certainly when people are graduating college, they're lost and confused. And the, the part about you know the complete guide to getting what you want, I'm not the expert on their lives or your life. Yeah. So my goal, what I mean when I say that, is that I provide some tips and guidance and structures that might help, but ultimately it's, I think, going to be the exercises in every chapter that help people figure out for themselves. You have one of the top 10 Gen Y blogs in the country, if not in the world. So <laughs> tell me about your blog. It's, my blog is lifeaftercollege.org. Yeah. And I really blog about everything. It's, it doesn't really have as much to do with life after immediately after graduating as it does life in general. So I really talk about life, work, money, dating relationships every now and then, uh, templates, organization. My goal is really share my personal experiences, the ups and the downs, and give people practical tips to help them organize their lives and feel like they kind of have things under control. Now I know you're very famous, your blog is very <laughs> popular, you've got you know, hundreds of thousands of readers, but when you do that first post, it's yeah. out there, no one knows about it. Did it feel very lonely out there on the internet when you oh, submitted it? Absolutely. It literally is one step at a time, doesn't have to be the perfect design. Just start writing start putting stuff out there. And for me, uh, I just kind of, I felt like I'm going to write what I'm interested in mm -hmm. and see where it goes. I never tried to build traffic, but it just kind of happened naturally. So what are like some of the most popular posts from the hundreds that you have uh, <laughs> written? The, some of the most popular, one of the most popular was motivated by achievement, mm -hmm. a blessing or a curse. But really the ones that get people are the dating and relationships posts. Everyone has been. No, loving and falling out of love. <laughs> By right. now, you would assume in the human experience we've figured this yeah. out. So why do you think those topics get the most attention? I think part of it, I think overall, no matter what specific topic, people like to see the vulnerable side. They like to know that they're not the only one struggling or having a hard time with something. And I really try and show that side. But Jenny Blake, <laughs> oh, no. what is the complete guide to a perfect life when it comes to <laughs> dating and relationships? Oh Tell gosh. me. Well, the book the is five actually step program. <laughs> it's the complete guide to getting what you want. Because I don't claim to know how to have a perfect life in any by any stretch. But uh, certainly when it comes to dating and relationships, it's funny because I was terrified to write that chapter. So my book has a chapter for every area of someone's life life, work, money, systems and organizations, fitness and nutrition. And in my book, at least, I'm more focused on helping people work through what it is they want. Okay. So even if I can't tell someone, certainly can't tell someone how to manage their dating life, I can at least give them some exercises like, what are your must-haves? What are your nice-to-haves? Yeah. I have an, even a template for what, when you break up with someone, here are some questions you can run through with yourself to feel better. So do you have any advice for people wanting to go down that same route and end up with a book? My best advice is one day at a time. It's so intimidating to think about the entire process all at once. That, okay, I can be so afraid of a goal that I won't want to tell anyone about it. And then I know that the next step is telling someone about it. Yeah. And I know from there that kind of making these impossible things happen, it just takes that saying it out loud and then doing some research, talking to people who've done it. And at that point, it starts becoming more and more real. Do you feel scared <laughs> also at times? Yeah, you know, I think my biggest fear is, other than losing a loved one, would be this that I, I want to make sure I'm also enjoying where I am now. So that motivated by achievement, that striving to always want to do big things like run a marathon and do a triathlon and I'm always on to something. And so my, my concern is I just want to make sure that I'm also enjoying where I am now and 
not falling prey to that grass is greener syndrome, like the grass is greener if I were to be a solopreneur and quit my day job, or the grass is greener if I had a boyfriend and wasn't single. It's you work at Google in career development, you're a life coach. Yeah. So uh, and how do you successfully do a full-time job at a, at, a, at a big thriving company like Google and still manage time to write a book and blog and then find time to go do yoga <laughs> teacher's training? The, the age of the career ladder is out. You know, we're in the age of the app, like iPhone apps, and it's less about moving straight up and it's more about you just kind of download the component parts that are going to work for you in your life. At the point in time. Yeah, and what skills you want. And so like yoga teacher, I'm just kind of plucking it from the, from the, <laughs> the store, the app yep. store, and coaching and the book. And those are all things that are just helping me enjoy my life and just feel really fulfilled. I think it probably also depends on personality type. Even as a little kid after school, I was going to aerobics and gymnastics and dance class. Like, that's just how I've always done things. So I think it really is about, and that's where it's really important. I love the phrase, comparison is a losing game, because it's not worth it to compare to what other people are doing. Lead a full life, do a lot of things, pluck things from yeah. as you need it. But any one point in time, just focus on a few so it seems manageable. Absolutely. And then all the things that you don't get done, just let go. Yes. And then when it gets too much, do some yoga. Yeah. See, so you make it sound so easy. It is simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.